Even good Hollywood movies can be hard to watch twice. In the case of these films, it's not bad writing or uninspired performances that make the movies hard to screen a second time. Rather, they're so depressing, shocking, or even terrifying that one cinematic exposure to them is more than enough to last a lifetime. In the case of these films, they're worth watching, but you probably won't want to see them again after that. Requiem for a Dream this adaptation of Hubert Selby's novel is a brutal, bleak, and visceral film, in which Darren Aronofsky opens a window on the lives and experiences of four different drug addicts, and that view is decidedly grim. The stunning visuals and harrowing story grab hold of you and don't let go for 101 excruciating minutes. I like thinking about the red dress and the television and… It's a mind-bender of a film that will leave you depressed for days and are seriously contemplating your own bad habits. Dogville. Lars von Trier's movies all tend to fit in the category of just one-timers, and that's certainly the case with the second installment of his Land of Opportunity trilogy, Dogville. This film, which is told in nine parts, chronicles the grueling experience of a woman who, on the run from the mafia, decides to hide out in a rural town. The residents agree to provide her shelter in exchange for her completing their various low-level chores. But her relationship with the town descends into unethical abuses of the woman, including multiple sexual assaults, all very difficult to stomach the first time around, let alone on a repeat viewing. Passion of the Christ Director Mel Gibson threw everything he had into this harrowing, vicious film about the final days of Jesus Christ. As the title indicates, it was meant to be a showcase of just how much grace and conviction the religious figure showed in the face of extreme brutality from his executioners. And while the film certainly did its job of reminding its intended audience of the sacrifices Jesus endured, even viewers who might have revered his message the first time may have a hard time bearing witness to the shocking level of violence again. Bad Lieutenant on-screen sexual violence can be upsetting in virtually any form, but the sheer lechery of the central character in Bad Lieutenant is especially difficult to observe. The movie serves to ultimately exonerate the drug-addled, unpredictable officer, but the journey to get to that point teems with tough material that includes the assault of a nun and his use of authority to force two young women into a sexual act. It's impossible to unsee the events of the movie, and hard to imagine voluntarily watching them again. Boys Don't Cry Hilary Swank's Academy Award-worthy performance as Brandon Tina, a real-life transgender man who was raped and murdered in 1993, was certainly groundbreaking, as it shed light on an unexplored sector of hate crimes that were, and are still, being committed against transgender individuals. At the same time, it was also incredibly difficult to bear, and probably counts for many as a movie that's worth watching once, but maybe just the one time. Irreversible this 2002 French horror film tops many best and worst lists precisely because of how horrific its lengthy and gratuitous rape scene is. The film tells the reverse chronological story of a woman who is raped and beaten into a coma by a notorious criminal, and it includes several scenes of intense cruelty and graphic violence that makes it almost unwatchable the first time around for any audience members with functional eyes. We need to talk about Kevin. As prevalent as mass murder attacks might be in real life, it's still quite hard to enjoy any piece of artwork that tries to synthesize the psyche and history of a young person who commits these heinous acts. In the case of We Need to Talk About Kevin, an all-star cast delivers sound, impactful work to peel back the layers of life that led up to the title character's horrific actions. You did not. That said, the movie is still difficult to process and might leave viewers feeling unfulfilled and even more hopeless and confused than before. Maybe that's the whole point, to highlight the sheer senselessness of it all. But it's still hard to imagine working up an appetite to watch it again. Precious Based on the autobiographical novel Pushed by Sapphire, Precious made for incredible, indelible cinema. Thanks to some blistering truth about a segment of society most people might not understand. The movie tells the story of a young girl, whose life consists of parental abuse and neglect first, poverty second, and whose struggle to survive the mean streets and her even meaner home life is a daily battle. Anyone who's seen it no doubt walked away a little different than they came in, if unwilling to watch it again. You ain't gonna see me no more. Blue Valentine Derek Cian France's Blue Valentine brims with raw emotion and sexuality, but it's the depressing nature of the narrative that really resorts this one to the dustiest shelves. The film is a categorical showcase of rich acting by its leads, Michelle Williams and Ryan Gosling, but the biting, bitter truth that even the most earnest romances can sputter out so spectacularly might hit a little too close to home for many viewers to push play again. Schindler's List 
There's no doubt Schindler's List is one of the most important films to ever grace a theater. Steven Spielberg's adaptation of this work of historical fiction gave light to the real work Oscar Schindler did to save the lives of his Jewish employees during World War II. It painfully depicted the real horrors of the era in unforgiving detail. In fact, it's precisely because of the raw sense of dread and devastation that it ranks among those that must be seen at least once, but it's probably difficult to revisit for most. American History X Tony Kaye's American History X went to some incredibly disturbing lengths to capture the true depravity that neo-Nazism inspires and is fueled by. And while the overarching narrative is optimistic in a sense that empathy is within reach for even the most seemingly unsalvageable individuals, the road to that character recovery is immensely upsetting to watch. Not only are the language and imagery purposefully offensive, but the acts of violence committed in the movie are unspeakable. It's hard to imagine anyone choosing to endure it all again after seeing it the first time. Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.